Hello, this tutorial will show you how to take motion capture data exported from MBN and import that data directly onto a character in Unreal Engine 5. Before we begin, we need to add the MBN Puppet import FBX to our project. To download this file, first go to the XSense knowledge base and search for the article FBX import into Unreal Engine. Find section 2, MBN Puppet import, and download the file with the link provided. With that done, we can begin exporting the motion capture data. To export a file from MBN, click on File, Export, Export File. Make sure the exporter is set to FBX. Click Show Options and make sure the output preset is set to Skeleton. Then hit Export. We're now done with MBN and can move on to Unreal. The first thing we want to do is import the MBN Puppet import FBX we downloaded earlier. I'll create a folder first and then click Import to add the FBX. Leave the skeleton set to None, and then click Import. With the MVN Puppet added, we can now import the Motion Capture FBX. This time, we want to make sure the skeleton is using the MVN Puppet Import Skeleton Asset, then click Import. For this tutorial, my target character will be a default Unreal Mannequin, but the process is the same for any character. To begin retargeting, we need to create IK rigs for the source asset and the target asset. Right click in the content browser, go to animation, and create an IK rig. Select the MBN Puppet Import Skeletal Mesh. I'll rename it to MBN IK Rig, and then open the asset. First, we'll need to define the retarget route. For the MBN Puppet, this would be the hips. Right click and choose Set Retarget Route. Next, we need to define the IK chains for the whole skeleton. Select the IK retargeting tab and click Add New Chain. I'll start with the spine bones first and name this chain Spine. The start bone will be the first spine bone and the end bone will be Spine 3. Repeat this process for the arms, legs, and head. If retargeting finger data, each individual finger would also need to be its own chain. When done, be sure to save the asset. We then need to create an IK rig for the target character and go through the previous process once more. Before we move on to retargeting, we need to change the retarget options of each character skeleton. Navigate to the MVN Puppet Import Skeleton asset and open it. In the Skeleton Tree window, find and click on the gear icon and enable Show Retargeting Options. Leave the root at animation and set the hips to animation scale. Everything else below that should be set to skeleton. The same thing needs to be done to the target character skeleton. With IK rigs for both the source character and the target character setup, we can finally move on to retargeting. Back in the content browser, right click, go to animation, and this time create an IK retargeter asset. Select the MVN puppet as the IK rig to copy animation from. Open the retargeter asset. In the details window, under the rigs section, change the target IK rig asset to be the IK rig we created earlier of the target character. Target character should now appear in the viewport next to the source character. With the target character added, we can now define which chain from the source character will be mapped to each chain of the target character. If the target is not in the same T pose as the MBN puppet, we'll need to edit the pose. At the top of the viewport window, click on New Pose. I'll name this T pose and then click Edit Pose. This will reveal the character's bones, which we can then select and rotate into our desired pose for retargeting. Note that only the bones defined in the retargeting chains will be shown here. With everything set up, we can now check to make sure an animation retargets correctly. Select the Asset Browser tab and double-click the animation we want to use. Both the source and the target characters should start moving. To export the animation for the target character, Make sure the animation is selected in the list and click on Export Selected Animation. Choose a path to save the animation to and click OK. 
we now have a usable animation asset for the target character. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you in the next one.